yeah, this will be my nerve-wracking archery hack. If I look rough, it's because it's 6 a.m. I'm in Croatia and this is the only time I can shoot a video because mm, another time there's so much of hot and sun and it's impossible to do anything else than just swimming in the sea. Or there are of course other people. So right now there's nobody I can shoot and it's completely safe. Well, and the thing is that I will shoot from various distances. I will start from like three meters and every single shot I will hit the target. After that, I will make two steps back. So I will going back and back until I will miss the target and then I will end. And that's the thing where I lost and the game is over. And why it's working like that? Well, the thing is why it's nerve wracking is that, yeah, when I miss, I will lost my arrow. It's not like that you just miss your target and if something happens, so you have safety net or uh, the arrow will land on the ground and nothing happens. Right now, when I miss the shot, the arrow is lost because the sea right there is pretty deep. I need to be much more focused. I need to be much more aware of my shooting skills and I need to really be concentrated and in unity with my bow, arrow and the target. So this hack helps me to focus because it means something if I miss and it's very important not to miss. Got it? So here we go, three meters. I will shoot my Korean bow from Alibo, you will see the review pretty soon. So that's our first shot. Yeah, no problem, we did it. Then I make two steps back and I will make another shot. Yeah, we have a dog over here, so we'll wait. We did it. Two steps back. Yeah, still good. Right now it's like eight meters. Right in the middle, two steps back. Right now it's about 10 meters. I did it, two more steps. Ah, huh? 12 meters at least. Yes, I'm still in and I need to refill my arrows. So I'm making line here and I will continue. So right now it's about 50 meters. Hit, good one. Like two steps or something. I need to go, whoa, down because there's a layer of stones. Yeah, nice hit. Two more steps. Well, it's about 18 or something. Yeah, I hit and I need more arrows. Well, right now I made a few more steps to speed it up. So I'm like 25 or something. Yes! Two big steps. Ah, hit. Well, I'm roughly at a line of 30 meters. Oh, it was close. But yeah, here's the end, the line of 30 meters. Whew. Yeah, at the end it was really hard and really nerve wracking. And here comes the funny part. Do you see the arrow right there? Well, it's like, like this. So I'll take down my microphone and clothes and I will save the arrow, all right? I believe that put something risky in your archery only can improve your skills. Because shooting at a range where nothing can happen is pretty easy. But when you know that if you miss, something happens, like you lost the arrow and in my case, you need to go to sea to take it and it's pretty deep, so you gotta swim and so on. You focus a little more, you think about it a little more, you really want to be connected with your bow and arrow and you don't want to make a mistake. It's no more just a game, it's much more like something important and I believe it, or at least I feel it in myself that my mind and my body is much more focused and prepared to do something good because normally after 50 meters I'm not good at all you know I miss pretty much but in this case in this scenario I was pretty close to 30 meters and even in this 
long range, I almost hit the target. It was just so close. So this is something very important for myself to see and know that if I'm under pressure, I can perform better than normally. And that's the point. So hit the like button. It helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much. Click the subscribe button so we stay in touch and you can see much more archery related videos. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, keep on swimming.